Hello everybody, welcome to Drew in the Moment. If you're new to the channel, we hope you consider subscribing and booping the like button, which means hitting that like button. That shows that you're enjoying our channel, enjoying the streams and videos that we have up. And today we are here at the Antique Mall, bleh, can't even talk, Antique Mall in the Lakeland, Florida. It is, I've said it, I say it every single time I do a live stream or I do a vlog. This is my favorite antique store that I personally have ever been at. They have a whole bunch of Disney merchandise, a whole bunch of just other wacky, crazy stuff, and just awesome antiques, man. But uh, we got a few people in here today. Mabry Ann Smith, welcome in. Brenda L., Kevin Fisher, uh, Gary Burton, hello. Corn Dog Jimmy. <laughs> Don Little, welcome in. Elsa Snow, Forever Sunshine, 2009. George Priestley, welcome in, everybody. Christopher Jameson, don't forget to boop that like. What's going on, Disney Stranger? Sally Turner, yeah, I know. Denise Bowen, we have not been here for a little while. We have not. Pearl Nini, hello, welcome in. Al Olson, what's going on, everybody? We're here in Lakeland. I haven't been over to this antique mall forever. Like, that's what it feels like. It's been at least a month, I think. Hey, what's up, Steve and Katie? Um, Kevin Fisher, in forever. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I, I did, when I went to, you know, just pop in and let them know I was doing a live stream today, I popped in. I saw a couple of really cool things that are, I don't even think they're priced out yet. So, shiny X Moon, welcome in. Um, but yeah, like this is, you know, I decided to do a little, uh, a little antique thing today. So I hope you guys don't mind. We're not at the parks, but we're at one of my, or my favorite antique store. Uh, so Carrie S. Welcome in Eric Lee. Eric Lee. Uh, Al Olson, I have vlogged it before, but I like live streaming this, man. I really do. Hey, Diana Levers, I'm good. How are you? The Ferrari from all the super chat. Yeah, yeah, I'm driving a Ferrari. Sharon Minoski, welcome in. Well, don't forget to boop the likes, guys. Hit that like button when you come in. But let me get my face out of the way and let's go into the store and check out the cool stuff they have. Uh, and Don Little, this is from Disney. Maybe an hour, maybe an hour's drive. But I'm telling you right now, in my personal opinion, it's absolutely worth it. I know some people that have come down and uh, come down for Disney. And they had seen, you know, my videos and other people's videos about this place. And they said, we have to go. And they ended up going. And they said they were not disappointed at all. Uh, okay. Yes. Just to show you, we've showed it before. It's still here. It's the Snow White doll. What's up, Mario? Welcome in, man. It's the uh, Snow White doll signed by Walt Disney himself. See if you can see it right on that, like right on that side on the bottom. But yeah, this was, I forget how much. I can't see the price now. I think it was like 12 grand or something like that. I mean, it's got Walt's signature on it. So of course it's going to be a little pricey. <laughs> Is creepy Mickey head still there? I don't know, man. It might be. It might be. I'm going to show this little... Uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys know where this guy comes from. I just saw him when I came in earlier. <laughs> it's just awesome. For a minute, it looked like... Uh, I think it's Topo Gijo. I think that's his name. It was like a little mouse back in the day. And yes, guys, I'm trying to use my inside voice so I'm not being incredibly loud. Let me know if anybody knows what this is from, because I have no idea. Or maybe it's from nothing. I don't know. <laughs> it's like looking in a mirror. Wow. But I did want to show you guys this. A few items over here. Uh, and this is from Recycling the Magic. And I don't know where, I'm guessing Disney World, maybe, but maybe Disneyland. There's nothing that, uh, there's nothing 
on it yet. They will eventually, they will eventually tell us. Um, <laughs> no, it's not Topo Gigio for, for, the, for the not, sorry, Fernando Dale. There we go. But her, uh, her dress and stuff looks a little beat up. I think she had a rough night in the forest. Um, I don't know if they sold the other ones. They either did or they moved them. Um, but yeah, this is the Snow White one, which is pretty awesome, man. I gotta say. This thing is huge. Brian Hunt, what's up, buddy? <laughs> welcome back to your living room. Well, hey, welcome back to the, uh, the antique mall here in Lakeland. And like I said, I, I have no, um information on any of these yet because i don't even think any of these are priced out um, but obviously this is like disney artwork look at this this is pretty wild so obviously it looks like original you know drawings they did sell one of those displays wow somebody had 20 grand for that <laughs> Jimmy, I was thinking the same thing, man. Like, honestly, I'm looking at these. I'm like, those are like perfect drawn doors. There's no way. Like, I can draw okay. There's no way I can. Be, like, that door is like almost perfect. Like, proportion-wise. I, I could draw one that looked okay, but it would be a little wonky. It would be a little off, you know? Wow. This is crazy, man. And let me know, guys, about connection, if we're okay. And Hey, Lori Kiss, welcome in. Top level to be printed in shadow. Look at, look at those. Chipmunk? Yeah, that's a chipmunk. Chipmunk and squirrel. Hey, Lily Byers. Two for a Sunday. Uh, usually we try to get Magic Kingdom for Sunday. Yeah, that's usually, I mean, but we'll, we'll do what we can. If we can't get Magic Kingdom, we'll, we'll go to another park. But open plumbing, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm a mod over on, uh, on tripping with the Turners. It was a big honor. I love those guys. They're wonderful, wonderful people. Oh, look at Bashful. Seriously, these drawings, man. These are amazing. Look at that. Ananda 3D, welcome in. Yeah, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Boop it. <laughs> Connection to the store is better than the parks. I, I know, it really is. Wow. That's crazy, man. So obviously a lot of snow white stuff. Like, look how perfect her eyes are. It's insane. And what amazes me is these products, you know, like these things somehow stayed intact. Like how... Like I, like, I, like I said, I don't have any information. I don't know anything about these. But it's like, if they're really, really old, how did they not decompose? Birds ring out towel. That's so cool. The animation experience. Uh, I've done the, yeah, the one in Animal Kingdom I did. As you can tell, I can't go back there because this is stuff that's like, I think she's still working it out, pricing and everything. Wow. That's just crazy. But I hope everybody's doing awesome. Thank you all for being here with me here at the Antique Mall. The queen is not with me today. She has family in from town. Um, so they are actually over at the craft store doing their thing. She dropped me off and said, here, 
here's your camera monkey, go do your thing. And I said, okay. And once again, I don't know where, I have no information on these. I don't know where they came from. I'm obviously, I'm guessing Disneyland, but that's pretty awesome. They all look, honestly, so obviously they're old. They, they look very, in really good condition. <laughs> yeah, she just kicked me out. Uh, no, Brenda L., none of, none of these um, that I can see, none of these are priced out yet. Uh, I, think she, I think they just came in, like a lot of the stuff uh, just came in. So she hasn't had time uh, to go through and, and price them out, I'm guessing. Um, I think she just was trying to get them in the store. Um, ooh, how did I miss that? Look at that. Like, I love the, uh, I love the framework around that. Hey, Nathan, welcome in. Hey, Eric, Florida, what's up, buddy? And I'm sorry if I'm missing, um, I'm missing anybody that's coming in. I'm trying, I'm like trying to look for the new stuff. Um, yeah, trying to look for new stuff and read chat. So I apologize if I miss you. Um, and I don't know. Is it just me or is like the pop figure craze kind of gone away? Does anybody else feel like that? Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not knocking on anybody that likes pop figures. Like, I still like them. I, I was never into them. Matt Logan, no, this is Lakeland, Florida. This is about an hour or so uh, from Orlando. But yeah, like, I feel like the, uh, the pop figure craze just kind of kind of died out you know yeah I think the pop's slowly beginning to fade kind of like vinyl mations yeah because I used to love absolutely love the vinyl mations man excuse me yeah I used to love the hey that's so weird speaking of vinyl mations in case any of you do not know they sell vinyl mations here Lorna what's going on oh I'm, uh, they have some nightmare before Christmas stuff yes <laughs> that is so great timing. That's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, they uh, they got a lot of cool stuff here. I'm telling you, if this is your first time on our channel, or first time watching uh, the antique uh, the antique mall here in Lakeland, Florida, this place, man, it's just awesome. Like they just have you know little tiny characters from different like you know from Burger King and then they have vinyl mations and then they have you know actual stuff that's uh from the park or the resorts which I'm slowly making my way over um over to that area what's weird is that I don't think I've ever seen these they're calling them wobblers Kellogg's wobbler from 2005 does anybody remember these from 2005 you know, someone has about 2,000 of those pops and growing. Okay. No, no, and that's what I mean. I mean, like, some people I know are, like, diehard on it. Smurfy. Report for duty. What's up, buddy? Welcome in. And Andromeda, welcome in. Your life survives those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, James Wilkerson. Welcome in. Like I said, I'm trying not to miss anybody. Andy Deering. And, yeah, they reminded me of Mighty Beans. Uh, but... For those of you that were not in uh, the Dad and Drew show last night, me and my buddy Jamie, we have our show called the Dad and Drew show, and we ate something called Konjac, which yeah, <laughs> you'll have to check out the show or check out when he posts the uh, uh, posts the the clip from that when we ate this Konjac stuff. Um, I don't recommend eating it. Uh, the flavor was okay. Like, it wasn't terrible, but it was the texture. It was the absolute texture that I, I felt like I was chewing on rubber bands at one point. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. It was like rubber bands. <laughs> no, and that's okay, Brenda. We, we like to do that stuff for you guys to, you know, get you, get you guys laughing, amuse you. Because it also amuses me and Jamie. Evan Hudden, welcome in. Vicky, what's going on? Leslie, what's up? And like I said, I'm trying, I'm trying to be good. I'm trying to like use my inside voice, but project it a little bit more. You know, 
but keep it so I'm not like the loud, obnoxious YouTuber guy. <laughs> All right, so we are gonna get in a little area that has, oh, it looks like some, I think we have some new things, guys. We still have the, um, the Caribbean Beach uh, Resort, the headboard, the mast headboard that I really want to put over my bed. I think it would be so much fun. <laughs> and I think that one was like 500, is it 500? Let me see. Oh, no, no, I lied. 250, actually better. 250 bucks. Rubber bands, is that what it looked like when my dad attempts to cook steak? <laughs> oh, I'm telling you dad, dude. I'm telling you dad. And I want to say, I just, I was at Magic Kingdom the other day, and they're selling these in the park. I've said it before, I'll say it again. They are selling them in the park for like full price, 25 bucks. If you guys are like, we need a Casey Jr. Seriously, the price here, like some prices are astronomical. And if you have money, you can get really, really cool stuff. If you don't have a lot of money at all, you can also get really cool stuff. $5 for this popcorn bucket. Seriously. Because I bought one. And that might actually be a giveaway for uh, a brew of Drew. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I know. $5, guys. Seriously, five bucks. And it's $25 right now in uh, Magic Kingdom. Full price. This is another item. I always show these cool little things is it's five bucks. If you're a Tangled fan, get yourself a little Tangled Stein. I mean, that's pretty cool. And guys, don't forget, boop that like button. Hit that like button. See if we can get 100 likes on this stream. And I'll just pan real quick, just because it, it's creepy. Not so much up my alley. Um, spooky. This is like universal stuff. I, what the? This is like, what is this? <laughs> what do they call that? Um, oh my goodness, I, I'm, I'm spacing it. But it's like that look that has all the gears and everything. I, I, I forget what it's called. Something punk, punk, steampunk, steampunk. It's a steampunk uh, pumpkin. Steampunk, okay, that's what I thought. This is cool though. <laughs> Freaky, I know. But this was uh, from the Mardi Gras, I guess, Crew Crawl, 7,500. It's a pretty big uh, statue, I gotta say, though. This thing's huge. I just don't have And I might need to get one of these. I keep looking at these. There's, these are six bucks. I do need like a holiday mug. I don't remember. I don't think I have one of these type of mugs like that you get at the resorts or the parks or whatever. A, a holiday one. And look. It's got everybody in there. So I'm curious. Anybody in the chat, is this your first uh, <laughs> paper and thread? What's up? Welcome in. Uh, is this anybody's first time uh, on the stream watching the Antique Mall? I'm just curious. What's up, Jesse Manetti? Welcome in. Thank you for joining. Oh, how many fingers? That's, uh, this is what's great about these mugs, all of them. Look at, look at that handle. Look at that handle. Bam. Like, you can solidly fit four. This is my first live with you. Oh, well, Don Little, well, welcome in. We're so happy to have you. Oh, Forever Sunshine, you've never been in the uh, antique mall with us. Okay. Uh, I don't do it all the time. I do it once in a while because um, I love it here, but I like to wait to, for them to get new stuff in. But they always have, like, there's always different things here. It's, I've been to antique stores before where they, like, they have the same stuff, and they never get any new stuff. They are constantly getting new stuff in here. New vendors, it, it, it's awesome. Right here. This is new. I haven't seen it yet. The Epcot Flower and Garden 
Sunflower Bench. Wow. Look at that. Hey, Kevin S., welcome in. That is so cool. Oh, the men in black display. I didn't even see it. Hold on. The men in black display? I don't know. I honestly did not see a men in black. Goof Gutierrez, what's going on? Uh, do you see? I have not seen anything from Fort Wilderness yet. That doesn't mean they don't have any. But I haven't. I have not seen any yet, and I did not see the uh, the Men in Black. I must have missed it, or maybe it looked like that. Isn't that bench cool? I do. Oh, yeah, I like that. And this is what I love. Like I was saying, like you know, when you don't have a, uh, you know, you're not rich or whatever, but you want something to decorate your house or whatever, you know, you get a Grand Floridian, you know, uh, bed runner, thirty bucks. And this was used in resort rooms. And let's see, is this wilderness lodge stuff? Look at that. Wilderness Lodge original prop, and that's 60, but I gotta say, that's like really heavy duty. That's really heavy. Paul Scanlon, welcome in. Sorry, I'm trying to go over chat, and Monarch Mir uh, Miracles, hello. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming along. Try not to miss anybody here, guys. Uh, Dana Ebermuth said, buy the holiday mugs. I'll have to go back over. Uh, Alice Wonderland, welcome in. Sarah Webster, Ange uh, N. Hi, can anyone go to the store? Yes, anybody can come here. This is for everybody and anybody. There is so much stuff here. Paul and Valerie, what's going on, guys? Uh, sorry, Paul Engel, welcome in. I'm trying to go over chat. Uh, sh -sh -sh -sh. There, I'm sort of caught up on chat, yes. But like these bed runners and stuff like this. Just so much fun. 25 bucks. You can have yourself an Animal Kingdom, you know, bed runner, another uh, Animal Kingdom bed runner, different style. Um, and these pillows. What do we got here? Ooh, look at that. That's awesome. I love boardwalk. Look at this, 15 bucks for a, uh, a boardwalk prop pillow. I'm trying to get that. Look at that. That's awesome. And then you got 15 bucks as well for a contemporary. I like the colors on this. Those are cool. Very, very cool. GN52573, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you guys, you know what? I'm going to turn around. Hello to everybody new coming in. Welcome in, Mandalore. Welcome in, guys. It's just me today. The queen dropped me off. She said, here's the camera. Go do your thing like like a monkey. Dis uh, Disney MUK, welcome in. But seriously, I say it every time I come here. This is my favorite antique store I've ever been at. Hands down. Lisa Zapiak. Um, they just have so much stuff. Like, I cannot show you everything unless we were here for, like, 10 hours. Like, no joke. So, but I just want to say hi to everybody. Welcome in. Don't forget, boop that like. See if we can get to 100 because I'll do a dance party right in the store. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Deborah Alice, welcome in. Okay, yeah. Oh, six bucks. See, six bucks for a Saratoga Springs prop pillow. And <laughs> shut it down. What's up? Thanks for coming in. Uh, what do we have here? This is from World of Disney display for Christmas. Four thousand. But I'm getting obviously you get it with this whole thing. But look at this. Christmas is right around the corner. Oh, yeah, Jan. And that Sven is like six bucks for the sipper. That's a six dollar sipper. And uh, I'll go back over and I'll show you that again. And then I'll go look for that men in black thing as well. Brenda L., I don't do, no, I, I, don't, uh, I don't do the personal shopping. Um, I just, I wouldn't have, I would not have the time because I got a full-time job right now, plus doing this, plus two kids. 
Um, yeah. I know. Like it's just it's just super cute. I love the little walkway. Look at the little walkway with the bricks. Oh yeah, no, Brenda L. No, and I've gotten that a lot. People have asked me that, and I just um, it's a great idea, and I'd love to be able to do it. I just I just know I would get in over my head. You got to know your limits. This is just oh, I, whoops! As I'm whacking my knee on this table. Look at the little goofy, Goofy's gas. <laughs> that is so cute. Isn't that, yeah. I think that's a really cool, really cool display. Like I, I see, I'm the type of person where I just have to buy it like this. It's all done. Like some people like, you know, they like to do it themselves. I used to, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's the older you get or the older I get. I just want it already done. I want to set it up and have it be ready. <laughs> Buck, I can. What's up? Oh, hello, Jaquita. <laughs> welcome in, Jaquita. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Mike Wazowski. Welcome in, Tomorrowland Transit Authority. Welcome in. Uh, yeah, you'd love it already done, right? <laughs> you like that, Jaquita? Okay. Over near the holiday, oh, the men in black, I gotcha, I gotcha. I'm sorry, I was, I was looking for like a poster like that. I gotcha. So this is a uh, men in black universal prop, 350, 350. Like I said, it, it, prices vary and it depends. You can also, um, you can also talk to the vendor that, you know, they, that owns whatever booth doesn't mean they'll do it, but you could be like, hey, I won't give you that, you know, whatever the price is, and, and see if you can uh, bargain with them. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't, um, depending on the item. But, okay, I, I, sorry, it was $12, $12, but still, for the Sven Sipper, look at this thing. Seriously. And I'm not a huge uh, Frozen fan. But this right here, this, like, I literally have debated buying this every time I come in and seen it. <laughs> it's super cool. Oh, yeah, the trolls, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, they have Disney stuff and they have Universal. I don't see a price on this one, though. But it's really, uh, oh, good, it's safe glitter because it's really glittery. It's really sparkly. Welcome in, anybody new coming in. We are here in Lakeland, Florida. Sorry, man. We're here in Lakeland, for, uh, Florida at the Antique Mall, my favorite antique store I've ever been in. They sell, uh, you know, props from uh, Disney resorts, Disney, you know, properties. Uh, same with Universal stuff. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other wacky stuff. It, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. Like right here, you know, they just have random for $5. It's a Dory, I guess, rare, it's a rare glow cube. So five bucks. So in case you're, you know, a, a Dory fan. Hey, bye, Chris DJ. Sorry, just so you guys know, it's, it's, I'm trying to do my best. It's hard to like, because I'm looking, there's so many things to look at and re-chat. Joshua Torres, welcome in. What's up, growing up Disney? Uh, garage finds. Hello. Yeah. The vendor will work with you on the price. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're, they're not going to take a nickel for it. I'm sure, you know, but, uh, if you're reasonable enough about it, about it, uh, power mad, welcome in my backyard science. Welcome in. And thank you guys for booping the like, liking the video. <laughs> so what do we have here? I forget the price on these. Was it 12 bucks? 12 bucks for this mug. And th this is a nice display. Like put that up on your shelf or, or wherever, you know? But let's see, let's see the test. I already know. It's a three finger. I, I got big sausage fingers. So some of you, it might be, it might be a four finger, but it's at least a three finger. And I mean, you could put a drink in here or you could put like a little popcorn. <laughs> yeah, I don't want glitter anywhere near me. Doesn't even have to like necessarily be in my eyes. Just, oh wow, this is crazy. 
Okay, I don't know. I'm sure some of you remember the Richard Petty experience. This is a prop suit that was actually used at the Richard Petty driving experience. That is so random. I actually forgot about that thing. I think I like viewing an antique store like this. I'd walk in and touch something and the shelf would fall off. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Hey, Mark uh, Terhoon, how much is the Spider-Man? I will go take a peek. But I just wanted to show you guys. This is crazy, man. That is a, just crazy. Uh, but before, I will show you that Spider-Man. But I came over here, and I saw this. Oh, yeah. So this is a lightsaber hilt case for $20. What? That's just awesome. No way. What? My mind's blown right now. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Seriously. And then they have a mace window. Yeah, no lightsaber, but still. Just having the case is awesome. So it's a mace. We have the mace window case. That's cool, man. Oh, okay. So it actually tells you. Okay, so these are rays. Those are rays in case you have like a rays lightsaber. And then Ashoka. Okay, Ashoka Tana. Got it. But still, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And in case you need some Christmas, because Christmas is right around the corner. But this is uh, original prop, Christmas tree from the theme park so you can have a christmas tree that was in universal studios and they had some for uh disney as well a lot from like disney springs and stuff but yes welcome in buckeye can thank you for joining us here in the antique mall now i gotta find and remember where i saw where was the spider-man i thought i was back here i can't remember my mind escapes me over the years. Does anybody remember? Two weeks looks like I'm uh, J, uh, Jerry Bailey. He looks like he's taking a trip to the Lakeland Antique Mall. Ship your purchase. Ooh, um, Jerry, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if Diana Leavers is still in the um, uh, still in the chat. She might be able to answer that for you. I think maybe not, but I, I don't know. I, I don't want to answer that incorrectly. Okay, so I'm guessing you were talking about this Spider-Man, which might have... I don't... Oh, okay, it's foam. I do not see a price on it. I do not see a price on it. They do not ship. Okay, thank you, Diana. I just didn't want to, I didn't want to give uh, wrong information. That's pretty sweet. And these are still here. I still think they're cool. If I had money, I might think about buying them. It's uh, the world of Disney is a prop map from Disney Springs. Mark, absolutely, man, absolutely. Oh, but it's a, this this right here. That is an awesome. Uh, that is an awesome Spider-Man. Like it's huge. It's just huge, but it's like really loud and vivid. I like that. You can use it. Oh, you can use an outside shipping service. Yeah, true. Ooh, I'm like all over the place right now. <laughs> I apologize. Magic Kingdom Fall Harvest. Oh, so that's from Magic Kingdom. Um, and I'm a fall guy. Like I, I love my Halloween. Oh, that's pretty awesome. But I'm not kidding though. It's 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 crazy how much stuff is here. Oh, and they got the Disney Quest framed picture. And I'll tell you, I never ever went in Disney Quest. We never made it over there um, when we first started coming to Disney. We just didn't make it over there. I don't know why. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at this. I haven't seen these. We have the Contemporary Resort Original Prop Nightstand Lamp. Uh, usually they got the price. Maybe it's over here. Hmm. On the bottom? Nope. Okay. So I have no idea how much these are, but they're pretty cool. Twenty bucks for a vase from the Contemporary. That's kind of cool. Fifteen for these. They're so weird. I mean, like, what, what would you put in that? Like, I know it's a decoration base, but I'm like, if you were really going to use it, like, what would you even put in that? And then we have from the Yacht Club, 300 bucks, a Mickey lamp. That's awesome. Jared L, welcome in. <laughs> a single stick, yeah. <laughs> a couple toothpicks. A couple toothpicks will work. Now, I want to check out. Uh, somebody's, somebody's having a rough one. <laughs> so that's from the cruise line. They got little Ottomans. What? We got 100 likes. And I know it's not Christmas, but let's have a dance party with Christmas stuff. What? 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 <laughs> Thank you guys, like always, for pooping the likes. I hope you guys really are having a good time on this stream. I love uh, I love coming here. I love doing live streams with you guys. Um, yeah, and don't forget, guys, leave me comments. Uh, honestly, of stuff that you liked or maybe stuff you want me to do, you know, like if you're like, oh, you know, you should go over here or you should go do this or I, I always like ideas. So after the stream, maybe uh, comment and just let me know. Uh, let me know how you guys feel because uh, I always like to look for new things to do. Like I still want to do Gatorland. Still got to go over to Gatorland, but. I'm guessing maybe after all of the uh, all of the tourists have have kind of started going back when the kids start going back to school because it's really busy. Disney nuts, welcome in. And these they have ornaments. When we uh, last year, I think it was last year, they had like a lot of cool like ornaments that you could tell were you know from Disney's uh, Wilderness Lodge or Key West or whatever. Um, but I mean, if you're okay with it, it's like this is from Pop Century. You would, you know, you'd be the only one that knew. Um, but four, excuse me, four bucks. That's not bad. Uh, Gatorland, I, I honestly don't even know. I don't, I've never, uh, I've never actually put that in the GPS, believe it or not. Ooh, so this is a Wilderness Lodge prop chair, 125. It's actually a really nice chair, though. I would not know that that was Wilderness Lodge if you, you know what I mean? If, I, if somebody didn't tell me. Um, and look, they're like brand new. Look at this, brand new. Wow. So you could have a brand new Wilderness Lodge chair. Uh, do you happen to see how much the fast and if you, uh, I will go take a peek, absolutely. 20, okay, 20 minutes. So it's 20 minutes from here. Yeah, I'm good, yeah, maybe like a half an hour. Um, let's see, the Fast and the Furious sign. So 200 bucks, two, two, two hundo. But I, I will tell you, it's in really good condition. In really good condition. Yeah, per, Perlini, that's the thing. I think Sally, uh, I think Sally Turner was telling me, if, correct me if I'm wrong, Sally, that she like furnished her, par, uh, her, her, her home with like a whole bunch of Disney stuff that she had gotten at kind of like places like this, if I remember correctly. 
75 for a Mickey Christmas banner. That's neat. Not, nece whoop. Not necessarily my style, but it is cute. Yes, there, there really is some awesome stuff. And like I said, I'm not going to be able to show you guys everything that's here. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's so much stuff. But on top of that, I said before, like, they're, this antique mall, they're constantly getting new things in all the time. I've been to antique stores, like, you know, over and over again. And I'm like, they never get anything new. And they just have the same stuff, you know? They don't, they don't rotate. And Patsy Bailey of the Disney Corporation. That's cool. I gotta say, I, I like it just for the coins. That's pretty cool. Yeah, a desk, an armoire, like. And then you can just be like, I have Disney in my house. Ooh. That's Spanish? Is that Spanish? That's really neat. Don't know after you. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Okay, great. Now we're into mugs, and you guys know how I feel about mugs. Oh. This is not, what? $7 for this Disney's Riviera Resort DVC opening 2019. Look at that. Oh yeah. Can you guys feel the excitement in that handle? <laughs> yeah, that is cheap. $7 for a Riviera Resort. That's insane. Uh, garage finds. That is, I know this is an item I have to admit that I thought would have already been sold. I don't know why, because I, me personally, I think it's awesome. So this is what they were asking about. 500. So 500 bucks. Super cool though. Super, super cool. <laughs> Forget the parks that you go to the store. I'm telling you. Jacob Hedgeen, uh, welcome in. Um, this, this is the place to be. This is such a great store. And this is a cool mug, eight bucks. From one of the most underrated Star Wars movies, in my opinion. Very cool. But I can't, I'm, I'm still trying to get over like how these made it in here and they're only $7. How is that even possible? Oh, 95 bucks for an MGM plate. Oh, oh my goodness, man. That's amazing. There's a thrift store, Hope Thrift Store. Okay. Uh, yes, I will, Lorna. Uh, they're very expensive though. $50 for the cruise line. It's like the, the check, the check books. Or like, you know, when they come to collect your bill. <laughs> Dana, I know, I was trying so careful with the plate. I was like, please don't drop it, dude. Please don't drop it. Yeah, 50 bucks for that. They also have uh, this from the Liberty Tree Tavern for a whopping $95. Lynn Butler, what's going on? Yes, a trip to the antique mall. Everybody knows who's, you know, been in the channel and seen these lives. I just love this place. I literally get overwhelmed in the best possible way because there's so much stuff. Like, I, I can't even, uh, it's just insane. I, I can't, 
like I can't get to everything. And I'm like, cool. Next time I'll get to some more stuff. Um, I'm trying to, th oh my goodness. This is crazy. Save these bags. Look at this. I don't know what year. I don't think it said a year on it. And <laughs> what does it come with steak? <laughs> Neam, welcome in. But this is just cool. Like these are the things that uh, that I love. Like it's just like like something simple. Like this is like an ice cream bag, but it's so old and awesome. Like it's just great. Wow. So we got Winnie the Pooh, Kanga, and Tigger. Wow. Curious from what, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't see, it doesn't say Disney on it. Oh, no, there we go. Copyright Walt Disney World. I wonder how old that was. Wow. Kristen Marconi, welcome in. Yeah, no, uh, that's the thing. Like, I always tell people, like, there's stuff that's expensive. Um, and if you really want it and you got the money, you can get it. But there's also stuff that's not as expensive. You know what I mean? Like, wow. Look at that. Hooray for our new middle name. 225. So that's when they changed from MGM to Hollywood. I still miss MGM. A Disneyland 50th anniversary jacket reversal. So you can reverse the jacket. Oh, that's cool. See, and, that, and that's the thing, too, what's cool about here. They have Disneyland things for people. Cause you, you know what I mean? In case you're more of a Disneyland person or, or you like having Disneyland and Disney World stuff. Wow. They have, for Recycling the Magic, they have expanded so quickly, guys. Like, seriously, this whole, we're, we're going to go through it as best as I can. But this whole area just, they whoosh, took it over, man, for good reason. I mean, and I know it wasn't, <laughs> I always got to show this, but I know it wasn't everybody's favorite, uh, you know, rendition of the castle. But you could have this huge flower from that castle. That's pretty neat. What's up, Mr. A to Z, Mickey Stein? Welcome in, guys. Yeah, they changed it at Hollywood Studios. But this was, uh, I'm going to have to read it again because I, I can never remember exactly where it's from. Let me see if it, uh, where was it? Yes, this is uh, the two-piece kitchen set from Club Disney. Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. The castle design was a nightmare. I couldn't stand it. <laughs> No, but it's just, yeah, but I'm just saying, I know it's one of those things where you're like, I know that the whole castle design was a disaster, but you could have something from that. You know what I mean? Like, even though it was a disaster, every, like we're talking about it right now, you still talk about it. It's almost like bad press is good press, you know, or, or something like that. However that saying goes. And I think one of the best deals here. Oh, this is a good looking one too. This looks awesome. So right here, $145 for the table and the chair. Seriously. And this, I have to say, this is the best one that I have seen. That is the best one I have seen. And one of these times, I'm serious. I will break down and just, I'll buy one. Cause it's just, it's cute. It's from the Polynesian. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. 
A super cute uh, kid's desk, absolutely. Yeah, no, and this is a, like I said, this is a steal. Like this is a table and a chair. Think about if you went to a furniture store, a table and a chair. It's at least gonna cost you a hundred and, you know, 20 bucks. And this one's from Disney, Polynesian, for 145, yeah. And we got the Minnie Mouse dress with bow. Okay, you know, Halloween's coming up. $3,000 costume. Oh, wow, the baby crib, yeah. Whoa, that is, that's crazy. There's no other information. It just says, uh, like, doll crib. But wow. That is super cool. Old school Mickey, too. D-Lo, what's going on? Welcome in. Anybody, if I'm missing you coming in, Liddell, welcome in. Um, I apologize. I'm, it's, I get captivated. I get captivated every time I come into the store. Um, and from the 1990 Very Merry Christmas Party, it's another thing that I show every time, uh, we have these... The dress and the uh, the man's suit, which that's something cool, something unique. Can you imagine you displaying this in your house? You know. And this is so cool. This is from All Star Magic. I mean, uh, All Star Movies Resort. <laughs> All Star Magic. Uh, $300, so it's a light. Bam. So you could hook that up. Like, I just love it. I just love the popcorn vibe. It's actually in pretty good condition. So I'm sure it's not, uh, you know, it was, it was used and abused. I <laughs> displayed on the next, next episode of Hoarders. <laughs> Seriously, man, that would be me. But welcome in, anybody. I'm going to uh, pop my face in again. Welcome in any, or anybody, everybody. I can't talk today. What's going on? Welcome in, everybody. I'm Drew. This is Drew in the Moment. We're here in the best antique store that I've ever been in, uh, the Antique Mall here in Lakeland, Florida. We're very happy to have you with us. Uh, we hope you boop the like, hit that like button, and subscribe. Uh, we go live uh, in the parks, here, wherever we want to go live, uh, where I think would be fun for us all to hang out. And this is, I come back here time after time after time because they always have new stuff. But uh, I just want to say hi so you guys can see the face that's, uh, you know, behind the voice. Behind the voice. Welcome in. And moving right along. Okay, now I, see, it's like I got to jump from one thing to another. For $800, you got a prop podium used at the Emporium store on Main Street by cast uh, members as a help desk. That's kind of fun. That is so cool. I need a podium. <laughs> Not really. Um, but this is what I was looking at. I don't, uh, I don't know where this is from. I can't wait to find out. It's awesome. It was obviously... A TV in, I'm guessing, a resort or something, but we're gonna find out. I'm just assuming. Beast Fa Fireplace with TV. 1300 bucks. This thing is awesome, man. 30 minutes. This thing is awesome. Luann, what's going on? No, you're never late. You're exactly when you're supposed to be here. Hey, Monarch Miracles, how do they get all this stuff? I, I honestly don't know. I don't ask questions, you know? I just like seeing this stuff come in. Uh, I, I try to buy things here and there once in a while um, when I can afford it. Uh, but literally, like, this place is like a mini museum, in my opinion. It's like a mini museum where, like, you can just come in and look at these amazing things. Like, I never thought when I came in here, when they first got these in, that I would ever see something like this. You know what I mean? So it's like a museum. It's pretty wild. Ooh, I like this. Oop. Authentic Walt Disney World Contemporary Resort 
concierge desk sign. Look at that. 325. That is a beautiful sign. Oh, I like this one. It's in really good condition, not scratched up or anything. That is so cool, man. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, yeah, exactly, Vicky. It really is. It's like a museum uh, that you can, but you can buy the stuff if you have the money. <laughs> what was the item next to the dressing room? It looked like it had Horace or Clara Bell. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Uh, it is, since it's an English carnival game, from some, yeah, an English carnival game. And that's all it says. It looks quite old. I don't know where it's from, but it's $700. It's super cool. Red Rocker, welcome in. Thanks for joining. Um, and now I'm seeing, oh my goodness. Then they have, the queen's usually with me so she can like, put the shirts here, but they have Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, Black Spire Outpost, cleared for landing. Look at that. That is a cool shirt. I wonder how much. Let me see. Uh, 15 bucks. That's not bad. Hey, Matt Butterfield, welcome in, man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It just says English, uh, just says English game, carnival game. Yeah, fifteen bucks for the shirt, and then I thought this was neat, uh, but it is twenty five. But you, it's you know, kind of like the things you get at Epcot, just bigger, where you put a drink, put the drink over on the right side of the ear. That's pretty neat. Oh my goodness! Look at this. Not so scary Halloween party. Minnie Mouse's costume chaos. Wow. 25 bucks. That's crazy. Look at that. So if you in case you're, you know, a collector of uh those type of cards and stuff. <laughs> Looks like Mickey had his ear pierced. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Oh, wow. Dive Bomber Duck with Clapboard. Originally Disney Store Prop. 17,000. 17, That's pretty awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. Leo, what's going on, buddy? Welcome in. And this right here, a turret castle DVC display from Disneyland, 600 bucks. That's cool. Wow. Like, they just have so much stuff here, guys. It's like I'm freaking out. Look at this. Davy Crockett. I love Davy Crockett. 300 bucks. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Uh, yes, anybody can visit this store. I know, it's funny. I, that, was the second, that was the second time somebody had asked today. And I'm like, I never even thought about letting people know. Yeah, this is just an antique store that you can show up to and and buy stuff. It's like a museum you can buy stuff. And oh my goodness. This is crazy. This says it's 102 Dalmatian movie stand-in stunt prop with hose for breathing. Look at this. Like, this is what I mean. Like, I would never ever think I would see something like this. 
<laughs> Michael Hunt yeah, is creepy. Uh, well, if you're a, if you're a huge fan, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a little. It's supposed to look lifelike. Cause it's you know the prop standing. Like, look. Wow, movie used. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Are we looking at taxidermy? It's pretty close, but I gotta say, out of those three, this is the one that's uh, the most lifelike. I think. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know why, but it looks very, very lifelike. That's crazy. But things that are not as creepy, look at these guys. What are they? Walt Disney cats? I'm guessing Aristocats, maybe? And then if. You are a 101 Dalmatians fan. That is the price. You're looking at about $25,000. Uh, but once again, people are like, holy cow, that's a crazy price. This thing is huge, man. And this was in Disney. You know what I mean? Like, this is a WDW, Walt Disney World Emporium actual uh, display, you know? But yeah, if you guys are just coming in, don't forget to boop the likes. And this has got to be one of my favorites. And it's not because I'm a huge 101 Dalmatians fan. I mean, I like 101 Dalmatians. It's super cool. What gets me is look at these like little details. The milk, the little pot, the little Tupperware, but oh my goodness, this is adorable. The meat grinder. And of course, baking stuff. You gotta make, you know, a cake. And then you got this, which I noticed like you got the little sink. And then you go up and they have the plumbing like piping. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, this is, I gotta say, this is my favorite. This has gotta be definitely my favorite. Uh, display that I've seen here and then like up here look at this golden sweet corn you get a little Ritz coming on down that tomato is that tomato juice or tomato yeah tomato juice flour <laughs> that's just awesome that really is just awesome oh look oh my goodness I didn't even see them a little less lifelike but really cute. That's awesome. So cool. Uh, the Lightning McQueen, Cars Land, Disneyland. I think it's just like a promotional, like a promotional picture, if that's what you're talking about. And then they have this big banner. Whoa, that's pretty cool. For 500, this is the Disneyland 2012 grand opening of Cars Land banner. Wow, that's cool. If you are a, if you're a Cars fan, that's pretty cool. Now, th this is a cool thing to have. 500 bucks, it sounds like a lot, but if you're a fan and like, this was for opening. These are, these are things that are not like, you know what I mean? Like when all of the ones that were there are gone, there'll be no more, you know? And then you got Big Winnie the Pooh. Holy cow. 2,400, but it's because of that right there. Because I found out a little while ago that that brand is very expensive. Very expensive. But yeah, there is just so much stuff in here, guys. It's, it's insane. There, I always go and show you, you know, Disney stuff and all that stuff, but there's like so many random awesome things. Like this robot right here. He looks happy to be here. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, and this is what I want to point out to you guys. If, when and if you come into the store, you need to check other booths. Like, say you were looking for Disney stuff and you come in here and you're like, oh, there's no Disney stuff. Well, I just look down and in case you were not able to get the Star Wars you know, Falcon bucket or whatever, in case they sold out, 
30 bucks and you get yourself the Millennium Falcon. But it's just like, like I found random stuff. Like they have a few Disney specific spots. Um, but then there's Disney stuff scattered throughout this place. Um, if you're here for that. And Universal stuff. More Disney stuff, but they definitely still have uh, Universal stuff. And I came over here. Christmas in July. So they are having a sale on the all-star Mickey table that's right here. A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. And then I think, what is it? The uh, Christmas in July sale, the all-star wall art and wall hanger. So whatever's all-star up here, they're having a deal on it. Hey, what's up, Johnny Neverland? What's going on, man? Oh, Lynn, it really is a change from the, the parks. Um, you know, and on this channel, like, I love doing park stuff, and we always are going to do park stuff, but I like to do other things, you know, just different, like coming to the antique store. I want to go to some other different type of places like this as well, um, and I just need to stop, because every time I see this, it just reminds me of Haunted Mansion. Just this little area with the, you know, the flickering and just feels like I'm home, you know? Holy Mickey. <laughs> See what I mean? Like th this place is like a maze. You just start seeing things out of the corner of your eye, like this gigantic Mickey for 450. <laughs> Being close to the store. Like, oh, trust me, man. I, 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 I've had to put myself in check. Oh, I know there's a, a Mickey here, special edition, 75 bucks, but, oh yeah, look at this, no way, man, 45 bucks, It's and it has all the four cups, that is crazy, I love this, I love this, wow, man. But just, you know, obviously there's antiques. There's old things in here. Kool-Aid Man. Yeah, dude. It's so awesome. Hey, Brian Hunt, thank you so much, man. Uh, we will be going live again on Sunday morning from Magic Kingdom. And I might, I know I said it, I thought about doing a universal quick little surprise stream the other day. Didn't happen. Uh, but there's a chance I might do a little Epcot mini surprise stream on Saturday if things work out. Just letting you guys know. Ah, uh, her wand broke. Let's see. But 65 bucks, if you're okay with the wand or you wanted to fix it, that's not bad because this is, uh, this is an expensive, uh, yeah, this is an expensive piece. And mini. But yeah, man. It's just everywhere. Disney stuff tucked in. And there's just like... I, I push this store. I just like beg people to come check it out. Because I don't ever want this place to go out of business. Ever. <laughs> I don't. Because I love it. In case you need to get your Matchbox cars on. Hey, Maggie Jones and Ellen Chandler, welcome in. Uh, DBLS, zero, three cards and more. Good evening. Thanks for showing up in the live. Same with Mich uh, Michelle Kamara. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to our channel, Drew in the Moment. And then this thing right here. Uh, 750 bucks. Honestly, in my opinion, not a bad price for this. This is a, like, in beautiful condition. Wow. Look at this. Yes, it is beautiful. This thing's amazing. So it's good, you know. Always got to look all the way around. Yeah, this is in wonderful condition. Oh yeah, and we were talking about vinyl nations earlier. Look at that. 
These are brand new ones. They have used ones, and, that, and they're all in really good condition. All the ones that I've seen. Uh, and then they got like brand new ones in box. Ooh, that's cool. I've never seen that one. Animal Kingdom Vinylmation. Arvid Aaron, hello, welcome in. You'll be here this weekend? That's awesome. Um, could anybody let me know what time it is? Because this place closes at 7, and uh, I don't want to be the guy that they're like, uh, sir, it's time to leave. Oh, I love this picture. Look at this. Acusco. I love that. And that's not bad. 30 bucks. 30 bucks for that picture. 20. Okay. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Ralph Flory. I know, man. Too bad they. Well, you know what? I could use, yeah. I could use some of the resort pillows and I'd just make myself at home. Oh, man. Too bad I didn't have this last year for my Halloween costume. Oh, I could have gotten that. I could have gotten cowboy boots. That would be horrible, though, like walking around the parks in cowboy boots, I'm guessing. I, I think I had this conversation with people before where I'm like, I don't think cowboy boots would be that comfortable walking on concrete. And what the, what is this? <laughs> this is awesome. This is like poker chips. I don't know why. I don't know where this is from. I don't know. Right? Is it poker chips? Oh, what? I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't get it, though. Look, there's nothing on it that tells me anything about it. Cause, but I want to know now. I'm really curious. Because there's another stack of them down there. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. And it's funny. This right here, I turned over and looked. I had this as a kid, man. Oh. oh my goodness. 30 bucks for the ET plush. ET phone home. And I just went on that ride at Universal. Uh, when was it? Wednesday, when no. I can't remember. Sometime this week, went on it, me and my, uh, me and my oldest. So good. It's my favorite ride at Universal. In case you need a <laughs> deer leg uh, lamp, they got them here. No, it definitely does not look like E.T. at all. I don't know. It, it almost looks like a bent hot dog. <laughs> oh, seriously, it's like a bent hot dog. <laughs> Oh, man. Holy cow. <laughs> oh. Anyway. So they sell, like I was saying before, they sell, like, McDonald's and, like, Burger King things. <laughs> it does. look like they took a hot dog and just bent it. And they're like, that's, that's fine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I got this creepy little guy. He looks a little too happy. I'm just saying. He looks, he looks a little suspiciously happy. Oh, wait, was there a snare drum? Did I miss the snare drum? Was there actually a snare drum? Or are you doing a Badoom Cha? <laughs> uh, what the heck? <laughs> it says charge demolition, 40 pound cratering. I. I'm not sure. Is this like a missile or something? Ooh, look at these. Oh my. <gasps> I'm buying them. I so have to buy these guys. You know why? First of all, they're aviator glasses. Secondly, look at this. Are you kidding me? And of course, my vote is not going to focus. 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 
It doesn't want to focus. Oh, uh, did somebody, I'm sorry. Uh, Christine Taylor, welcome in. Thank you for subscribing. Seriously, I'm going to set this down. I think I have to buy these. I just want you guys to be like, yes, Drew, buy them. So, boop. All right. Seriously, Bounty Hunter Aviators. How do they look? They look all right? I mean, they're Bounty Hunter. And only seven bucks. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to buy these. Look at that. Bow. Amazing. I'm doing it. I don't care. I never, I, I try, I try to be good about not spending too much money. But like I picked these up, I was like, oh, they're aviators. I'm like, they're cool. And then I saw that they were bounty hunters. I'm like, I have to buy them now. I have to buy them. I have to buy them. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. But yeah, that's crazy. That's a great price too. Six ninety nine. Yes, Christine Taylor, welcome in. I uh, hope you enjoy our channel. And uh, anybody else that's subscribed or new today, uh, we have a lot of fun here on Drew in the Moment. I usually have the lovely Queen V, my wife, uh, with me today. She's not. Family's in town. Um, but she will be with me on Sunday when we go live from Magic Kingdom. <laughs> the danger zone. Oh, a Disney La Nuba Cir Cirque Sippy Cup. If you like uh, Cirque de Soleil, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I've never seen it. Like, I've seen it online, uh, but I've never actually seen it in person. It looks pretty awesome, though. Wow. Look at this. Hand-painted in the USA. Disney's Vero Beach, 2003. And if you literally didn't want, like, the the year on there i'm sure you could like cover it up somehow or whatever but it, what does it even matter right but question is how much 17 bucks that's not bad this is a this is a pretty oh they're gonna be closing they're gonna be closing all right all right everybody I got to go because I got to go pay for these before they close. Thank you all for coming in. Hope you had a good time. Uh, I love this place. Get down to the Lakeland Antique Mall. If you ever are in the Orlando, Florida area, come and check this place out. I, I got I to gotta keep pushing this place. I love this place. I legitimately love this store. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you for who subscribed. Thank you for all the boobs, guys. Um, We'll be going live, like I said, Sunday morning. We're going to be, I think the park opens at 8, so we'll probably start maybe 8.30. Um, and I might on Saturday, we'll see how it works out, might do a short little mini surprise live stream from Epcot because we're going to be going with uh, Queen and her family there. So, um, but I love you guys so much. I hope you had fun. I always have fun doing this, you know, but I hope you guys had fun. Uh, and yeah, take care of yourselves and, uh, keep spreading the love, stay positive. Um, yeah. So until we see you next time, guys, remember only one way to live right here in the moment when you can buy yourself some sunglasses. <laughs> Bye everybody. I'll just show you the creepy Mickey guy. <laughs>